After waiting months and months for this day to finally arrive for Halo 5, it has finally come. The BTB refresh is available for everyone to play. In this video, we're going to break down the new maps, the new modes, the decision behind the starting weapon choice, and more information for you guys here. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update when it comes to Halo. Today, we're talking about the BTB refresh for 2019 for Halo 5, a date I've been looking forward to for very very long time so if you guys like these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button let's me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this btb refresh if you played it as well i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well and if you're new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything halo 5 mcc halo infinite or just halo in general related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times so let's get right into the video here. So at the time of recording this video, May 9th, that means that the BTB refresh has finally come for us Halo 5 players to finally get a chance to enjoy. Unishack made a post up on waypoints. I'm gonna give you guys the TLDR when it comes to that whole thing. So basically we're gonna kind of line out the goals of what they were trying to accomplish with this BTB refresh. One was to update the game modes to improve the gameplay experience for all skill levels improve the frame rate performance on all maps, establish consistent settings for weapon and vehicles across all maps, increase the likelihood of objective modes ending in score rather than time, maintain the big team battles identity, find a good balance in the delicate dance between infantry and vehicle combat. So basically they're saying we're going to completely revamp the big team battle playlist and hopefully give you guys a true experience that we've seen that the previous iteration of BTB in Halo 5 was good but it's kind of over time kind of shown its ugly side a little bit so they're trying to polish that up a little bit for you guys to give you guys a much better experience overall. So first let's get into the new maps. So they added seven new maps to this playlist in addition with the 12 existing maps which also got some facelifts and redoes as well so i'm going to go rapid fire into this whole thing here guys so we have crossbow fossil hunt landers we have meander panic attack pioneer voyager and then those are the new maps now the legacy maps are ancestor boulevard Dead Heat, which is a remake of D Dead Log, which made a much cool like desert theme to the whole thing. Dispelled, Echoes, Intune, which got remade as well. Fracture, Guillotine, Port Authority, Scavenger, Traffic Jam, Viking, which probably has the best remake out of them all. Surprisingly, the Sand Trap remake that I saw get tweeted around that was created by Wavering Zoo didn't make it into this playlist. So the Sand Trap remake, not in here sadly guys, sorry about that, but I was kind of looking forward to it because I saw some great tweets about that, but sadly did not make it into this final play test. Now, if you guys probably remember that there were the current variants were just like CTF, Assault, Slayer, and Strongholds, but now we have a new mode thrown in, One Flag CTF. Yes, One Flag has returned. They found a way to put One Flag CTF into Halo 5 and work well for a select few of maps in the BTP playlist. Those maps would be Guillotine, Meander, and Voyager. Now a change to some of the objective modes when it comes to CTF and Assault with CTF, uh, we did notice that a lot of times those games would basically became extended versions of Slayer because well, you have so many people on the map and vehicles and you have that have flag in your base to actually score a point. Well, what they did decide to do is that they made it so then you can score your flag without it being in your base. I think this is a good change for BTB because of how chaotic the mode is and how much of a stalemate a lot of the maps can be. And plus it's just like a casual fun playlist. So I think, you know, just not having the flag in your base, it should be a fine to kind of help speed up the game. Cause they were saying that about 50% of the games that were played ended in time limit rather than score limit, which kind of makes the reason of playing an objective halfway pointless because only half the games were playing like CTF, the other half were playing like elongated Slayer matches. Uh, continue on with different kind of objective changes. Big team assault guide change as well. As that when you you can bring the ball to the base, obviously, but when you do, you have two very you have two different options. One, if you go to the goal zone and you hold it for five seconds in there, that counts as a score. But what you can also do now is bring the ball to the score zone, drop it there, and it takes 10 seconds for the score to happen. So you have a chance to defend yourself. Say you may only have a group of two or three guys helping you out as well. 
it helps out with quite a bit and it's only an extra five seconds so that would make sense probably to do that and also they made a spawn influencer around the ball as well so then when you're pushing the ball forward you won't have the enemy team spawning just right next to you to stop the push of the uh, assault ball into the enemy base i think these are all excellent changes helps kind of speed up the game a little bit and uh, it's also kind of just makes it more fun these objective modes but it definitely did feel much more like elongated slayer matches and the objective was kind of almost pointless for i guess half the game it's pretty much according to 343 so i'm glad to see these changes come in especially for ctf and i'm definitely looking forward to get into playing these matches now the starting weapon for this BTP refresh, there was a major talking point within the community when it comes to this. I was a big advocate of changing the starting weapon from the regular battle rifle as after the most recent nerf to the battle rifle, it just didn't really feel good to shoot. It became much more inconsistent at ranges that typically the battle rifle within the Halo franchise has been known to be performing well in and it just doesn't feel good to shoot and um, so what they decided to do is have a big discussion over this and actually have multiple play sessions of three different variations they had the stabilization jet battle rifle which is basically the battle rifle with no recoil whatsoever or spread even i think and also magnum stars was also tried out and also just regular br starts the you know the vanilla version so you state how yes the stabilization jet battle rifle works really well in mid-range it feels good to shoot but they noticed that since it's so accurate that it really became like a laser beam and really hindered movement throughout the map that it would and also hindered people like on the gunner of like a uh, warhog they just get melted instantly because well the enemy team doesn't have to manage recoil or bullet spread or all or anything like that because this weapon is designed to be overpowered in Warzone, and they're trying to fit it into the regular sandbox of BTB. And they noticed that just it was too much of a laser beam. It just it was too easy to kill people, and just really hindered movement. And that's something I would hate to see happen. Uh, I know a lot of people in the community also mentioned about having a Halo 2 battle rifle instead of the regular battle rifle. But I think you run into the similar issue as well with the stabilization jet battle rifle, is that it's just too accurate too good and just too overpowered it kind of hinders the movement of the game and really slows things down and just makes things just not fun i want to be able to move around and shoot my guys i don't want to be peeking my head up and down like it's called duty or something like that and so the other choice was possibly magnum starts and he did say that magnum starts felt really good they played rather well on top of that and the, but the only issue they said is that when people were playing with magnum starts they weren't really bothering to pick up any other weapons on the map, which is, you know, I guess telling of the Magnum itself for it being a really great gun. It's one of part of the identities, like they mentioned the core aspects and when they mentioned the beginning of this post saying that they wanted to maintain the identity of BTB. And BTB has always had a battle rifle start. And so they said that the Magnum, though it plays well and feels good, it just doesn't lend itself to good gameplay where people are picking up different weapons throughout the map and so then your map becomes much more of a blank canvas rather than something you can interact with with weapon pickups. And so they decided to uh, just go back to the standard battle rifle. It doesn't work the best but it lends itself to the gameplay that they're aiming for when it comes to the BTB playlist which I can understand why. Like the Magnum it's pretty damn good and uh, they mentioned also how the Magnum is kind of like an arena thing and that for the 4v4 stuff and they've always kind of felt like the BTB stuff, AV8's large team battle, you start with the battle rifle kind of thing to kind of maintain that BTB identity so I understand it. I was kind of hoping for a Magnum start but of course I didn't get a chance to jump into any play sessions. Uh, the timing just didn't work out for me, for me sadly. Uh, so I'll take their word on it for how long the play testing went for this. I will take their words in the battle rifle probably ended up being the best version that they can go for for starting weapons for the BR AR loadout when it comes to starts in this new BTB refresh. And the final point is consistency that they mentioned about how basically different weapons on different maps in certain ways had very different timers and it just very inconsistent gameplay when it comes to uh, what to expect within each map. So they decided to try to unify a lot of the timings and weapon spawns 
for each map. So it's the description of this video down below to get all the details when it comes to uh, like things like shotguns, rocket launchers, uh, vehicle spawns, um, you know, plasma turrets and tur different kind of turrets and vehicle spawns and things like that. So you can kind of understand that they unified all that and so then it's much easier for a player to just remember exactly what to look out for to keep track of timers. So then you're like, hey, every three minutes, the sniper's gonna spawn up, I need to be there. So it kind of helps unify the gameplay a little bit so players are knowledgeable of how to play BTB can do better. And in closing, I also just wanna say thank you along with this post is what they say, is that I uh, wanna thank a lot of the forgers, people who are play testing a lot of the hours, putting a lot of love and time into this playlist update. All their Twitter is linked in the description down below in that post. And so definitely want to give them a follow guys, because you want to just give them a thank you to say, you know, how much you appreciate the amount of effort that went into this. So you guys, that's the BTB refresh. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know when you see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video as well. If you're new to the channel, I'll stay up to date with anything Halo related. Please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to stay up to date with anything going on with the channel. By the way, the channel, if you're new or if you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.